Hello, this is Mr. Weideman, and I am here to help you with one of your projectile motion problems on UT Quest. This is a place kicker problem, and we have a place kicker kicking a football at a known initial velocity at a known angle, and he is trying to clear the crossbar at a known distance. You're also given the height of the crossbar. And what they're actually asking you to find is by how much you clear the crossbar. And what we're going to do is we're going to find out this distance, the height of the ball, distance in the y direction right here. They give me the height of the crossbar. So I'm just going to subtract this value from this value, and that will give me the height that it clears the crossbar, and that's what they want you to enter in the program. Okay, so this height of the crossbar, that is going to be a target value. It's going to be a comparison value. It actually has nothing to do with our calculations until the very end. What we really need is the distance in the y, or the height the ball is, at this point in time. And as with most projectile motion problems, this is going to be the key for us to solve this problem. We want to get this time. Okay. So how are we going to get that? Well, we've got this initial velocity, and we know that we can take velocity and break it up into x components and y components. Okay? In projectile motion problems, this is always your first move, unless it's a horizontal launch. Okay, so now then I can use this piece of data and... I can set it up in this equation, and I can get that ever important time. It's so important because we can use it in both dimensions. When I solve for this time right here, not only have I traveled this distance in the x, this is also where I'm going to be in the y. So now that I have this very important time, then I can substitute into this equation. Okay, we know this, that's be this component right here. This we substitute in from here, and I have the distance in the y. So if I take the distance in the y, and I subtract the height of the crossbar, And that is going to give me my distance above, which is what we want. Okay. Watch your calculations. Watch your signs. Uh, watch your unit compatibility. I don't think there's any problems with that in this particular problem. And you should be good to go. Ten easy points.